One of the biggest factors, especially in younger um, baseball players having elbow issues, is going to be that overuse. No matter the level, a dominant pitcher can mean a big difference in a baseball team's success. Hey! But in the blink of an eye, that pitcher's career can be altered forever. My history with Tommy John, I had surgery the uh, fall right after my senior year of high school. So I had it, um, comparatively speaking, at a decently young age. Facing Tyler LaPlante. Tyler LaPlante, a Kansas City native and former Missouri Tiger, knows the pain of having an elbow injury. Really the big thing that I learned in my career is that it doesn't do you any good if you throw hard if you don't know how to take care of your arm. LaPlante, though able to continue his baseball career after Tommy John, others aren't always so lucky. So that's why he is starting a throwing program at Merrick Baseball Academy. It's arm care and velocity training. So. The, the two big points in that is I want to teach kids how to throw hard, but I want to teach kids how to throw hard in a safer and more effective way. The former Missouri Tiger studies the pitcher's arm. On top of giving lessons, he wants to help the next generation of pitchers have a chance instead of potentially seeing them throw their arms out at a young age. Growing up, I was never really taught arm care. Um, I never really had access to anything like that. Like everything that I ever did was just training. Like just sports performance training in the weight room, trying to lift, trying to get faster, stronger, more explosive. According to a study by Chicago's Rush University Medical Center, the biggest age group needing Tommy John surgery in the country is between 15 and 19 years old. Other studies done in the last 20 years showing the UCL reconstruction surgery needed in as young as little league pitchers too. When you have a high school pitcher that undergoes Tommy John surgery, he has a 70% chance, studies have shown, to make it back to high school ball. Not to the college, not to pro. Everyone thinks it's almost like hitting the reset button. It's not. Plus, in a 2020 study out of San Diego State University, looked at the effects of early specialization of more than 500 high school baseball players, found that highly specialized players were 3.7 times more likely to report arm overuse injuries compared to those who did not specialize. And those kids playing baseball for more than eight months out of the year, two times as likely to report an arm overuse injury. Doctors all across the country expressing the same type of concerns when it comes to arm injuries. And there's a lot of people out there that say, well, they're young, don't worry about it. That's not true. I think of it like a bean counter. Every time you throw, it's a click. No, no matter if it's in practice, in a game, or just throwing outside the backyard. You want to get your velocity up while also taking care of your arm. Plus, there are new ways to measure your performance. It looks at uh, spin rate on the baseball axis, how much movement the baseball has, um, what the velocity is. Between the new technology and new approaches to arm care, LaPlante hopes he can make a difference in kids' lives and prepare them to hopefully have a healthy baseball career. Kids have so much more access to uh, things now than what they had before. So it's not necessarily the worst thing to work on trying to develop velocity. You just have to do it in a smart and responsible way. Chris Roush, KQ2 News.